What is the proper sports conduct? For sports conduct that's uh, brought down from the NJSIAA is a zero tolerance that we have for any bias incidents or remarks that may be made at a game or, or, or anywhere within on our school grounds. Uh, it could range from berating an opponent to um, you know making bias statements to an opponent from fans, from a player to a player, from fans to players, from fans to fans. Uh, it's a variety of issues that we've taken a, a zero tolerance stance on. Proper sports conduct involves playing by the rules and maintaining a good attitude throughout a game without taunting or berating any other players. Why is it mandatory to read the sports conduct rules every game? This is a mandatory a rule that's read before every game from officials to student athletes and then also at contests uh, where we have an announcer where the announcer reads it to the fans. Again, mandated from the NJSIAA down to all the high schools in our state uh, to help enforce our zero tolerance uh, code on any bias incidents. It is mandatory policy that all NJSIAA officials read the conduct statement before each and every contest that occurs. What will happen if a player does not follow these rules? Any type of infraction from student athletes during the course of a game will result in them being removed from the contest from the official. The official then writes up the offense, which uh, in turn, if it's a, uh, conducted on the football field, they would have to sit another game, uh, as well as uh, wrestling as well. They sit one more match. In other sports, such as basketball, baseball, soccer, uh, softball, those sports, they'd have to sit an additional two games. Uh, so again, this is a very serious offense that the state's uh, taking a stance against. If you do not follow the rules outlined by the officials and you taunt or berate an opponent and they feel that you are in violation of this rule, you can be ejected from the contest. Always be a good sport.